What's up YouTube? So for today's video, I did a poll on Instagram and asked you guys what video you guys wanted to see today. And I'm actually happy you guys chose how college is going because I can just do like a sit back video and kind of just talk to you guys about how my life's been going. So I'm really excited to film this video. It's actually been seven months since I graduated high school and I can't believe how fast the time is going. I think it's almost been eight months now since I graduated. I cannot believe how fast the time has gone and that I'm almost done with my freshman year of college. But yeah, I graduated at Ocean View High School last year and I am going to San Bernardino currently. So when I was applying at Ocean View, I had no idea what school I wanted to go to. I just knew that I wanted to be a writer and I knew that I liked English. And to this day, I don't really know like what I want to do with my major, but I do know that I want to be in the English department because I really do like to write. Once again, you guys, um, if you didn't know, I've been writing a book called The Token of Opportunity. It means the world to me. But yeah, when I was applying to colleges, I didn't really know what college I wanted to apply to. I didn't really care about the campus because I knew I didn't want to live on campus. So that was out of the picture. I just wanted to fit into a school that was close to home and would be an easy commute for me, but also was a good program, obviously, for English, because that's what I'm going to school for. And yeah, so I was applying. I applied to Cal State San Bernardino. I applied to Long Beach. I applied to Cal Poly. I applied to UC Riverside. I even applied to UC Irvine. So when I was in school, I was very, like, stressed and I had no idea like what I was doing and I'm really thankful for the college counselors that were at my high school who helped all of us get through that experience because you really just don't know like what you're doing yeah it was just really awesome to have people like that who are so supportive about a situation that you're not familiar with I applied to all these schools and I was just waiting for three months um, from November all the way to February just waiting for responses because I knew that I was coming and I was just like oh god I'm so nervous you know and the first school I actually heard from was San Bernardino and my mom sent me the letter over text message and she was like good luck like good job honey like you got accepted to San Bernardino and I was so excited I just remember sitting in this exact room at my dad's house and just being like no way like that's so awesome like I'm so excited and so yeah I was like all right San Bernardino good like that was my top two schools because UC Riverside was also my other school I was like oh that's awesome like I'm excited let's do this and I heard from Long Beach they accepted me I heard from all the Cal States all the Cal States accepted me Cal Poly accepted me but they accepted me for communications and that was just like my secondary option but yeah uc riverside and san bernardino were my top two schools and i already heard from san bernardino first so i was like okay at least one of my top two schools i got accepted in so i did get accepted to all the cal states i did not get accepted to uc riverside it was kind of nice though because it helped me like make that final decision like hey like i'm going to san bernardino i'm not going to be going to riverside because I didn't get accepted. That was where it was kind of like a positive thing for me. I guess I was bummed that I didn't get accepted to Riverside, but I was excited like, hey, I get to go to San Bernardino and be a coyote. So I was like, let's do it. I actually found out if I got accepted to UC Irvine. I commuted my senior year to Huntington Beach every single day. So I was like, I really don't want to have to commute to Orange County, if I, especially if I want to stay home. I got accepted to San Bernardino. I paid my enrollment fee, paid my enrollment fee, and then I got my date for the orientation, which the orientation is a two night um, process where you spend the first day kind of just getting to know people who are in the same department as you. And then the second day is when you actually start applying for your fall classes. I had no idea what I was doing. I think a lot of it had to do with being stressed out about finances and I know that a lot of you are in high school going into college or maybe some of you are in college and you are stressing about money but those numbers that are put towards you or thrown at you aren't the actual numbers that you pay for I remember I thought I had to pay $25,000 and I was freaking the hell out and I just drooled I was freaking the hell out and I had no idea I was like how am I gonna pay $25,000 per quarter what ended up happening was that I read the number wrong the number was actually 2500 per quarter and when I got my FAFSA I only had to pay like $350 out of pocket so I was like oh it calms your nerves in high school you get 
thrown at you like all these numbers and you're kind of just sitting there like how am I gonna pay for this how am I gonna pay for this how am I gonna pay for this I just remember stressing out about my financial aid for sure because they kept messing up my FAFSA my FAFSA kept having errors in it my addresses didn't connect my address didn't connect with what I put down on the piece of paper and I was just super overwhelmed they needed more information that I didn't put on my FAFSA in the beginning, and it was just like this big, long process. I remember I spent my whole summer having to communicate with San Bernardino about this. I was just like, overwhelmed. That's just the, the only word I could think of. I was stressed about that. Also, I was stressed about my books, because books come into factor. I had to pay six books my fall quarter. A lot of my classes required two books. That's not the case, you guys, for every single class. Every class is different, and every class requires a different amount of textbooks, and every textbook is a different amount of money. It all depends. You also, to let you guys know that Amazon is a really good place to get textbooks, especially if the stores in your um, schools are very expensive. That's a very good way to save money. So I was stressed about books. I was stressed about financial aid, obviously. And then I was stressed about getting my classes. I had no idea what classes I was supposed to take. And luckily this one lady that was there when we were applying for our classes, um, she told me what I should take and she was very helpful. And my fall quarter ended up going very smoothly. I got good grades. Just to let you guys know that college is way easier than high school. There's not so much pressure on you. You have your time to do things. And I think that's really easy when you have time to do things because when you're pressured and pressured and pressured to do things you get so overwhelmed like, fall quarter went very good i was like all right awesome like i did good i got to enjoy my winter break knowing that i got good grades and that my financial aid was paid for and that my books were paid for and my parking pass because my parking pass let me tell y'all is 114 dollars per quarter and when you add that up that's like 340 dollars per for the whole year so it's, it's super overwhelming but i was just relieved that I paid it all off. Now I'm in my winter quarter. So let me tell y'all about this winter quarter. Um, let's just say I'm a little more unmotivated this quarter, not as motivated as I was in the fall. And I think that's because of the classes I'm taking. I think the classes I'm taking are very like, just kind of overwhelming, I guess you can say. They're not very hard classes. I'm taking an English class, a history, an ethnic studies, and a, a theater arts class but they just become super overwhelming. I do not like that I have to go to school five days a week. I would rather go Monday, Wednesday, Friday and just go from nine to two than being there five days a week because it's also a lot of gas for me because I have to drive to San Bernardino. I don't live there. You guys are probably thinking, well, why didn't you just live on campus? But I love staying with my family. It helps me a lot get through things because I get to talk to my boyfriend. I get to talk to my mom. I get to talk to my dad. I get to talk to my grandparents. I get to talk to those people. You know, outside of school, at home, I don't get to really talk to them in person when I'm living on campus. And I also don't want to have a roommate. That's also part of it too. You know, you don't want to have a roommate. Deal with all that drama, you know. And I also like my personal space and I have a big room at my mom's. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna stay home and have my big room and have my own space. I commuted my senior year. I definitely can do this commute and it was a lot more easier for me. College is going okay right now. Um, I didn't go to school almost this whole week besides Monday. I think I've just been so overwhelmed with everything. I also work. A, a whole lot of other personal things have been going on in my life and I think that I'm just overwhelmed right now. I'm definitely looking forward to spring break, but um, college is it's going good. I have to say that college is not the worst thing in the world. College isn't for everybody though, so I don't want you guys to think like, oh, you need to go to college. College is a really good, you know, atmosphere, personal. Nobody's on your on your case about anything. But college is going good, you guys. I'm happy, and that's really I think that all that matters is that I'm happy. Life's going good. I'm healthy. All these great things to be, you know, happy and thankful for. So if you guys like this video, I just wanted to do a quick video today because I was like I'm motivated after that Ariana Grande video. So once again, you guys, I am so sorry for all my Instagram followers. YouTube did post that video, so now it is on here. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put the link down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. And if you guys also like this video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, bye guys.